All right, guys, got something a little bit different we're going to do here today. We're going to raise some nets, so that ain't that different. But I got Mr. Adam Sanderson here with me. Did I say that right? Yep. Redline Outdoors, West Monroe, Louisiana. He's got a YouTube channel, so y'all get on there and check him out. We've been talking for some time about getting together and trying to do some videos together, do a little collaboration type video. And I don't know why we waited this long, to be honest about it, but too busy i guess yeah life's busy his work schedule and my work schedule don't match up and things like that what is it tell me a little bit about your work schedule what do you do i i work 24 on 48 off and i'm a full-time fireman and i have a lawn care business and we own a gym i do a little taxidermy work too and we've got two kids so we stay pretty busy just like everybody you got else. about as many hobbies as yeah. i got then me and you are a lot alike <laughs> So, so we stay busy. But yeah, y'all see the films and we answer all the questions about the fishing and stuff, but it's all the other stuff y'all don't get to see that we do. And yeah. It it's a struggle for us to come out here and shoot these videos yeah. for y'all, I can I can tell you that much. But yeah. I have people ask me all the time, when do you ever work? Well we ain't gonna show that. Nobody wants to watch us work, so well we only show the good stuff. That and some of our workplaces we can't film. Exactly. So. <laughs> well, we gonna we're gonna raise some nets today, see what we got. Adam has never Ever run any hoop nets. Never hoop net before. So he don't know what he's getting into. I no. don't. Anyways, we're gonna get on these nets and see what we got. leaves and junk dirt and clean them real good and then uh then you can kind of roll them together i put one my like foot up here and i'll bring the little slide and get them I'll stack them until i get to that last one and by then you'll, you'll see the fish and stuff and then you can just kind of come on over with it easiest way There's your, your fish cooking video. Yeah, yeah, I've seen her Casper. Yeah, one I did wasn't too good. No, I didn't see that. I get more comments on that video than any other video. Let's go. That's all we need. I don't. Oh, oh goo! Get out of here, boy! How many catfish tails have you been slapped by? Good many. Yeah, like you gotta 
clean that dude out, you know, pretty good. There's her tag with her name, license number, phone number, all that. But anyways, I'm take it to See that where it's wearing? It'll roll around and cut them lines out. I'll have to retie them in after two, three years. Can you back us out, girl? I can see where this would be miserable if it was cold. You'd have to wear rain gear dang near, wouldn't you? Wintertime's best fishing for buffalo. Is it? That was snow. Putting this coating on this floor up here. Bradley almost went swimming. <laughs> Side of the bridle. Looks like it's hung. Yeah. You gonna go swimming? I ain't planning on it. That's Chad. No. <laughs> Come loose, didn't it? Yeah. You make this net? Uh, I think I did make that net. Nothing. Let me look at that real good, make sure ain't no holes or nothing in it. Something's going on with this net, didn't it's ah that's why right there. Look at there. Uh oh. What? Got a hole in it. Got a hole in it. That's why I ain't got no fish in it. Well, you know what you got to do? Oh, you have to do that. Oh, this is the first one I've had to patch this year. But, um, I mean, it, you hang up, you just have to figure it out sometimes. That's, that's just a uh, part of it. A lot of people, if they didn't know how to patch a net, they'd be pulling this net out, taking it to the house, taking it to somebody and paying them five or 10 bucks to patch this hole right here. So that's where going over and watching our videos on patching nets and stuff kind of comes in to play it's good to know that kind of stuff yeah when you when you pull one up you know it's in a good spot like we've been catching a few fish here and it's got nothing in it right you, you know up. something's up that's why you go to looking at that net and make sure you know it's not a hole in it or something somewhere now, the thing is we know there's a top there so we're gonna add about I don't know, 10, 15, 20 foot of rope to this line. Hopefully we get back behind whatever it's hanging on. Right. My one main tip on hoop net fishing ain't to keep from getting your net stolen or hide a patch or any of that. It's wear your life jacket. That's the one thing that uh, you need to do wear your life jacket raising these hoop nets. That water's cold. There's a lot of current. If this net goes in, that current's gonna push that net down. And if you tangled up in it and go in, it's gonna push you down with it, life jacket or no life jacket. So having a life jacket on at least give you a chance for somebody to to grab a hold to you or something. And that's that's my one tip of the day right there. I've had them hung up, couldn't get them out. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. leave them till water goes down. That's all right, we got fish already. <laughs> That's in the perfect spot. Is it? There's one thing there. I think we'll take them off. There's a man to be. 
appreciate it. You got that lower center of gravity. You, you're a little better at this than I am. I ain't got no real high center of gravity, but you, you got a lower one than I do. Come here to me, boy. Load it up again. Oh, we got some flatheads. Two of them. All right. See, that's what that other one would have had, probably. Both these other two had catches in them, but see, them fish there go through that hole that we had to patch. Another good one. Look like a great white. It was all good eaters there. Absolutely. Hey, she gives me just as hard a time as I give her. I can promise you that. the tree limb. Dirty might not have no fish in it. I don't feel like it does. Oh my goodness. Oh. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. You probably finna get wet. Brother. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at that. You got a dinosaur in there. Look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh my Linda. Look at that thing. You a river rat, you know it? Me? Yeah. Cause I drink water? No, you just are a river rat. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is, he spit up. That's what he ate. Sure did. Well, that's just gross. Oh, it's been too. a Washtenaw River giant right there. He really did spit that up. That fish didn't just die in there. That sucker, he spit him up. You can see he's half digested. It's a little bit smelly. Yeah, he just Ned ain't even coughed that good, but you just never know what you're going to have. That's, it was worth it. This that's time. what's fun about pulling them up. Uh, That's probably the biggest one I've ever caught in the river. Ever? Limb lines and all. Biggest flathead. That's 50 pounder. I caught some 40s. Caught that big blue. That one's gonna be heavy. He ain't gonna be happy with 
being happy now. <laughs> Is that another catfish? That's another catfish. That he ate. He ate that blue. And spit it out. And spit it up. That's crazy. And it stinks. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. That is a blue that this catfish ate. Ugh. I'd probably throw them blue away. <laughs> oh, good now. They're good now. They broke in, boy. Seasoned up. So I'm just going to try to turn him and drag him out. Rather than try to pick it and eat it up and dump him or anything. Come here, boy. Is that the whole area, dude? I will if I can get him turned around. Yep, when your limb line gets broke, that's what happened. That's what got it. Right there. Look at that. You see that? He got a hole in his mouth. He got a hole in his mouth. He's had a hook in him before. Probably got off my limb line last year. That's probably what it was. That is a giant flathead. That's a big one. He ain't gonna fit in that bucket. Why don't you put it down and get your net back out and take your pictures? Yeah. Watch yourself. He's coming back here. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Just bump on that one. I didn't do anything. It's all you. <laughs> you caught him. <laughs> In a way. In a way. <laughs> Dude, that was worth the trip. That's a once in a lifetime fish for most that's people. All we ever catch. Even, even in hoop nets, that's a once in a lifetime fish, no joke. Huh? Huh? You just gonna let the current take you? <coughs> I was gonna take his net up, but. Not now. Probably just leave it out. That's the biggest flathead I've ever caught in the river, no joke. I'm usually a black quail. Not today. It's all blue. Two blues. We can't complain if we can't complain if we don't catch another fish. I know. We got it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I knew you were going to do it. That hurt. He got you. He got you. The blue cat did. And blue cat can get you. Them goo is what you don't want to get you. you one of them gets you getting infected. Really? Yeah. They hurt. Them top spines on them. He gets you bad. One more. That's number five. I've well, been catching some buffalo. Mm -hmm. Buff yeah, he's he's to buffalo run might be about over with. Ooh! Yo, look at this big choker. Hey, look at that fish. Fishy, fishy. Yeah, let me go. We're gonna eat you. Last night of the day. Last night of the day. We didn't caught a monster. Right there. Y'all see that? That's what you call the bridle? Yep. There's our bridle. <sighs> Thank you. 
One buffalo. They just quit running. Oh. Big old buffalo. But you wanted a buffalo, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> we got it. Big old buffalo. Some people watching this on the bank. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Nosy Nellies. We got to catch, man. It's, it's, sometimes it ain't about how many, it's about what you catch. That's it. But it's always about catching something. Right there. <laughs>